segment. Michael Rubin is here, executive chairman of Fanatics, partner of the Philadelphia 76ers and the New Jersey Devils, and the one and only Magic Johnson, NBA Hall of Famer and chairman and CEO of Magic Johnson Enterprises. Good morning to both of you, uh, gentlemen. Uh, Michael, thank you for bringing Magic uh, on the program. Uh, I, but, but you see me. I didn't think that great excitement was just for me. I knew it was for my guy. <laughs> I, I'm, exci I'm excited to see both of you guys. I'm excited to see both of you guys. Uh, Michael, t tell us how this happened, and then, we'll, and then I want to talk to Magic about uh, his perspective on all of it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I've known Magic for more than a decade, and I've really always watched him in business create great value. I've seen him bring people together, uh, do so many different interesting things in different parts of businesses. So for me, to bring such a great business person into Fanatics, but also someone who, who represents everything that Fanatics is about, was a great opportunity. We're going to sell more than $3 billion of licensed sports merchandise this year. Um, we've sold millions of dollars of Max's jersey himself, and we just thought it was great to get this iconic athlete and this iconic business person and somebody I know, love, and trust all in one. Magic, uh, he called you. Did you just say yes automatically, or what? how did how this go? <laughs> I, said, I said yes right away. I really, first of all, I respect Michael, and uh, he told you we've been friends, but... Uh, the way he's carried himself, not just in business, but also what he's done for, for communities across the country has been amazing. Uh, the company, Fanatics, is doing very, very well. Matter of fact, uh, even before Michael asked me to join the board, I probably was buying three to 500 jerseys every single year to uh, sign and give away to charity. So I'm a big fan of Fanatics, even before he asked me to join the board. And, and last but not least, when you have a company that's growing like Fanatics, they have a great leader in Doug Mack. So uh, everything is, is fantastic, fantastic about the company. And I'm just happy that Michael uh, asked me to join the board. I'm ex really, really excited. Michael, while, while we got you here, you know, you just, you just created a partnership in China, which should be a, a real growth engine for the company. What's that look like? Yeah, we, we've been asked by all of our sports properties, hundreds of them globally, how can you really help us in China? And certainly outside of each sports team or sports league's home market, China is always number one or number two most important strategic place to build. For us, we saw this as an enormous opportunity, but we also know we didn't have the experience to know how to do it on our own. So we found out, uh, we picked the best private equity firm, largest private equity firm in China. We did a 50-50 joint venture with them. Um, they're putting up all the capital, and we think we can build a multi-billion dollar business in China. We think it's an incredible opportunity, and we think it's one that helps all of our sports properties connect with their fans and one that's super strategic to us. And we're going to make some big announcements uh, in the not-too-distant future about uh, new partnerships that will really um, propel that business very quickly. You, you know, Andrew, you got to just let me in for a second. Magic, tomorrow night, <laughs> tomorrow night, tomorrow night, would you normally be headed to Ann Arbor for this, and, and you know Michigan just lost, although they're great. And Michigan now, it, does it not seem like MSU is starting to get better? And, and what would 11 points? What would you do tomorrow with 11 points? <laughs> uh, normally, I probably would be uh, there at both games because we play them not only tomorrow but also again on Sunday at, in East Lansing. So. Right now, you got to give uh, Michigan credit. They're, they're, what, number two before they lost last night, number two in the nation. This is the first time that Michigan State been somewhat down. Coach Izzo has always had us in the top 10, 15 program in the nation. But uh, any time that Michigan and Michigan State play, you know it's going to be an awesome game. I'm looking forward to it. But Izzo right now has Michigan State playing uh, the best we've played all season long. So hopefully we can get into the NCAA tournament uh, and, and see what we can do there. But the Big Ten is awesome this season. Unbelievable. The best conference in America. I know. I, I mean, I've seen this movie before, Michigan State, late in, right? Late in the, uh, late in the season. And That's so right. I, I, I would never say never with, uh, with <laughs> Would you? Never, would ne never, never count say Coach Izzo out. Never count him out and his never team. Say no, never say never. All right. I'm done. Uh, that's it. Thanks. Thanks. I'm very <laughs> I'm I, 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 I want to ask, ask Magic and Michael about, uh, about something else that's going on in the sports world, and it has to do with collectibles. 
Uh, the, you know, we had, a, just, we had a conversation in the last hour with Gary Vaynerchuk about what's called NFTs, these non-fungible tokens. These are these digital tokens. But cover of, of Business Week just last week had a sneaker, and it said, this is not a sneaker, it's an asset class. And, and I'm curious how both of you are thinking about that world these days. Magic? Well, uh, things are changing. You know, uh, when you think about uh, trading cards used to be, that was everything when we all grew up, right? And collecting those trading cards. Now, uh, as you've seen, the whole game has changed. And now uh, things are going to be a lot different with this new <laughs> new way of collecting uh, sports paraphernalia, as well as cards, jerseys, all of it, sneakers. Everything is about to change. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.